This is our flour silo. It has the capacity of holding about 72,000 pounds. Giovanni Conti is the commissary plant manager for New England Authentic Eats in Walpole. It's here where the secret but simple ingredients are blended into balls for Papa Gino's famous pizza dough. It's about 560 pounds of dough. Wow. In each batch. Each batch. Each one of Papa Gino's 84 restaurants throughout New England has their pizza dough made right here. 25 years ago, they opened this commissary to mass produce it. This machine right here is our dough divider. It scales it to the exact weight of the dough ball as required. So once it exercises, this machine rounds it into a dough ball. Then we have people packing them into boxes. We put the lids on them in that section there. And then they, then they go directly into the holding cooler. And then they go into the trucks for delivery. We'll produce about 4.2 million dough balls here this year. Tim Lamson heads up supply chain for New England Authentic Eats. He says even though ownership of the pizza chain may have changed over the years, the company stays true to its history and to its famous name. It is a New England name that started 65 years ago and started by a man by the name of Mike Valerio and his wife Helen. And the first one was in East Boston. It was called Pizza Pizza. Tim says no matter where you're having your slice of Papa Gino's, customers can be assured that a commitment to consistency and freshness all starts with the dough, and it all starts right here. The ingredients are unique, and they haven't changed since day one. All the formulas have remained the same. Papa Gino's. Here's a little tasty bit of trivia for you. Care to guess the busiest day for pizza in the pizza industry? Nope, not the Super Bowl. That's second. It's actually Halloween. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, New Center 5.